Still have 14 seconds to swap if they're going to go back and forth. The Vladimir's in top lane. Would survive via sustain against the Swain. It does seem like it. He has Ghost in the mid. Oh. Oh. 15 seconds. He was attacked by Rek'Sai. Looks like he's going to try to hop over the wall. And he they just walked through. They walled it. Rain can use. And it's just going to be the fight out. At least he kind of denies an assist coming in on this one. It is going to be a solo kill. No, there is an assist. After they have a bit... I'd say a map control lead, oh. but they're trying to recover this Surprise. DLG, and this is where they were trying to find Hooney. There's going to be a few more shots for him. He goes in the frozen tomb just for a second. Just for a second, but it's going to be a take. Oh! Ooh! He waits for the jump, causes Stixay to blow his flash, which in the end, maybe Smithy will be seen at Raptors first. There, see how hard they commit on it? Like you said, used his E. There's no way for him to go anywhere. He's going to be quite far behind, but he has Stixay He's or Gookie Stixay. if he wants it. Stixay's going to be right there. Throws it to him, onto him, and he goes down immediately. Darshan still getting out. Bird for him on, but there's nothing to heal from. He He's going to stay alive forever. It looks like he knows it, too. Stepping to the front line. One Crimson Rush heal with the Spirit Visage puts him all the way up to full HP. And it's going to be possibly the fight. No, Aphromoo just throws down a heal. They're not going to look for the engage there as who he throws in. Soldiers! Hooney goes right to the back. Who he forced to flash out of that one is Stixay is trying to kite the fight with a few attacks. Hooney, again, every time the claw is out, the claw means go. And Immortals is right behind him. Almost two for Immortals. Darshan and it looks like Darshan is going to try and come to the backside. A pincer move here. He's on to Wild Turtle and Turtle channeled the ult, which made him stand still in that damage of oh. Swain's ult for a little bit longer. Poe Belter coming up huge with a Tides of Blood, a triple kill right off the explosion. And they are slowly whittling down Darshan now. He thought he was coming into a full team engage, but just watched his team melt in front of Nexus turrets. But Immortals was right there behind, knowing they had the lead. Counter Logic Gaming still Huni. not looking to give that up. Not oh, he went. looking to give up what they have. And Huni could be going down. Frozen Tomb on himself. Means Aphromoo's going to have a hard time getting away. Smithy's taking it as the claw goes in. Respite goes down. And it looks like CLG's forced off of their own Kindred ultimate. That's going to be a double kill for Turtle as Pole Belter picks up one more. The last auto attack from Wild Turtle picks up the triple. He'll chase down Stixay and should be able to finalize this one if they can ever find each other. And Immortals are going to be looking for the base. Yeah, everybody on Immortals is like, we're going to get the base. And Turtle's like, my quadra, though. And Stixay gets away. There's something about Turtle getting quadra kills when his team is on the Nexus turrets. Almost happens once again this time. He does force Stixay to have the back very far from home. And it's going to be too long. He's not there to save the day. 11 to 3 in an even faster fashion. Immortals come back angry in game two and take it from CLG. We're going to game three. Yeah, 26.